Today, let's focus a bit on this 2017 Subaru Legacy sedan. I tell you, this specimen of all things that I've seen related to Subaru might be very modern for what it is. It tends to utilize the combination of practicality, comfort, style, and probably luxury as well. Simply because if you look into its interior, then there's a good chance that you might be able to notice a lot going on with these seats. In this exact version, it's a combination of leather and a little bit of cloth. These rims, I tell you, they're probably what make up the bulk for the styling. And I'm more than sure that more people out there who will be watching this episode will be more than content to find lots of other unique styling contingencies on this model. Because looking at it from all sorts of perspectives, because the focal point that we got here is that this vehicle is chock full of many things that would normally put Subaru up higher on par with the likes of other brands like Nissan, Honda, Toyota, Chevrolet, Ford, and GMC. But according to Kelly Blue Book, the combination of a factory installed motor that can produce up to 256 horsepower, get about zero to 60 in 8.9 seconds on average, and of course, to simply use a nice fuel economy of up to 34 miles per gallon on the highway, it sure does bring plenty of questions to people's minds, such as how do people normally have the money to afford something like this? Considering how it is about five years old by this point in time, you'd think that there would be a lot of complications revolving around it, but not necessarily. As we get closer into the interior again, lots of interior work, including on the steering wheel, for example, the steering wheel with plenty of different media controls as well as cruise control. Five people are able to fit into all the seats. Not to mention the center console itself is loaded with a few different things, including the usage of push button transmission, which if you remember from my review on the 2018 Acura TLX, you'd notice that there was something similar going on in there as well. So when you really think about it, this legacy in comparison is certainly right up there with most modern aspirations. And it certainly is going to be around for a long time. So I guess with that in mind, there's probably not much you could expect, but there's certainly other things you can get. From the other side, it has a dual exhaust system plus an optional tow package. So you can basically hook any kind of trailer you'd want onto this. With 200 plus horsepower equipped onto an engine, it would make sense to use this power to its fullest extent. Now, when discussing various things, this driver, unfortunately, like some, have not allowed me to simply take this out for a spin. But it just goes to show that a review can happen on the outside or the inside, more or less with permission, of course.